Hi, I'm Aaron McKenzie from Origin of Energy. I'm just going to go through the warm-up routine we use here. Very simple whole body assessment that you can go through and it's also quite a dynamic kind of stretching routine to open up the joints and kind of get, get in touch with where you are on a day and work out how hard you're going to push yourself, what you need to work on and, and where you're at. First one's a squat position. Very important in life, just to be able to get right down. It does take time to work right into a position like this. A lot of people are kind of stuck up here and they'll kind of end up like this. So you just want to be able to do it with fairly decent alignment to start with. So you might have to start off here. You might feel your heels kind of lifting up a bit and have to work side to side. But over time it will open up. You just got to be consistent and try and do this as much as you can. This is one stretch I really encourage people to do every day, multiple times a day just get down into this position. You want to work towards being able to straighten up in it and then use it for Olympic lifting as well to get that overhead squat position. So you can work side to side. But if your heels are lifting, you're probably tight through your calves. You can isolate those out a bit, foam roll them, release them. Um, if you find you like that a bit, your adductors are a bit tighter. The next stretch we use kind of focuses a bit more on the adductor side. So this one you can kind of push from behind, bring that chest forward, push those knees down, rock it a little bit, and you want to work towards opening up. Again, that takes time, you want to foam roll through those muscles that are restricted more. Then from there we go into a straddle split stretch. So this does take time to develop, so you might start out like this, but you just want to get that chest up, you might find your hamstrings a bit tight, but over time it will open up, you just got to persevere. And from here you can work into different angles, side to side. And you want to be mobile in all of these structures. They're not static. There's something you want to try and be able to glide from one movement to another. Um, and you also want to strengthen all these positions as well. So we do a lot of exercises in the class to strengthen the split position as well as stretch it. So that it is a dynamic thing that you can control as opposed to just something that you just fall into. And then if you do just stretch it, you'll find your body just tightens up because you're not strong there. Um, so here we get people to work towards coming as far forward as they can, to bring the chest down, working across, getting that kind of pancake position. And over time, you'll be able to get that groin in closer, reach forward more. That is a lot of work, but a worthwhile investment, especially if you like any type of acrobatic conditioning. From there, we go into a 90-90 stretch and this again it's very dynamic working around that hip opening up all different regions coming around trying to open up through that hip as well with internal rotation like that doing both sides of that after that we're going to wrist mobs and these ones here you're just working side to side coming right forward to really prep the wrist for that planche position with the shoulders coming right over that, then turning them over. A lot of people need to start out here with the elbows bent. Coming back, working that. Really kind of making it dynamic so you're really getting those wrist preps. So it's not just a static position. Then turning the hands over. You want to feel that pressure in the fingertips open up through those forearm flexors. And again, any area that you feel that restriction with, it's a good area to work with. The massage ball, foam roller as well. To really try and get improve that circulation to the area and open it up and strengthen it as well makes a big difference um, so here internally rotating so there's those four then we do some strengthening work finger push-ups like that first knuckle then the backs of the wrists and gradually increasing the amount of pressure there to make it stronger and all kind of you know handstand work and, uh, hand balancing stuff. You need this strength here to be able to do it well, as well as the flexibility. After that we do some spinal mobilization, so you want to feel every segment in the spine. And right out, and trying to get every segment moving. A lot of people are quite stuck from here to here, so you don't want to overwork the lower back and the neck in it. You want to try and feel length and extension, length and flexion. Then we go into rotational work, so you can Use that other hand to help assist the stretch and then reach up. And working both sides, that works quite well. Then we go into some hip modes. If you watch the foam roller, 
video, this is much the same in the sense that we're working your adductor, opening that up, kind of dropping the hips into that, traction in the joint, putting a bit of pressure in there, you do some contract relax, then going into vastus medius and straight up and down that rectus femoris and really lengthening my spine and my hip and gapping it and then turning to the outside and coming right around like that. I'm doing that on both sides. Then I'm, once I've done both sides, I'm going to extension. So again, I traction the hips, extend the spine and look up. I really want to get that length and I'm trying to get the arch so it's even through my hips, through my lower back, mid back, upper back, like that. So it's not just in my lower back. Then after that, we go into a hip flexor stretch. So we're just coming up here and tucking that pelvis under. Again, it's dynamic. We're trying to reach around, move that arm. So you're giving that whole fascial line from the knee right through the chest to the fingertips. Work that both sides. Then we'll come up into a hamstring mode. We're just working both sides and working towards that 90 degree angle from the hip here is what we really want before we encourage people to go into flexion from there. And that has great carryover into deadlifts and a lot of kind of acrobatic work, especially when you're kicking up a handstand or anything, cartwheels, all of that, you need that hamstring flexibility and control. Uh, then from there, once you've got that down, then you can use the hands to support you and come down and really let that spine traction hinging through. When you come up out of that, you want to come up one segment at a time, feel that spine roll up. And as we're coming up, we're going to roll those shoulders back. And that reaching forward, and then we stretch out that chest and the shoulders and circle through. And we just go into some elbow and wrist rotations, in and out. Nice and simple, just to get in touch with the whole body. And obviously you want to combine that with strengthening work. Stretching by itself is, is pretty limited. But it is a good routine to do every day. I do it most days when I'm teaching. I'll end up doing it three or four times. Um, and I find it really helps me keep that awareness of my body and what I need to work on. See you next time. Ciao.